Welcome back to the Core Dungeon Framework tutorial series. In this video, we'll use the community content to build a blacksmith and show you how to customize the items in the shop and move them around to make them part of your scene in an immersive way. To begin, we'll open the map folder and the lobby folder to find the shop folder. Inside the shop folder, you'll find several templates called the Equipment Display Purchase Pad. The Equipment Display Purchase Pad allows you to create a complete interface for purchasing weapons. It includes a reference to the template that it sells, the weapon, as well as determining the minimum level required, the coins that it costs, and also creating sound effects when it is purchased. Each of these objects includes a script and several display objects to make it possible to sell the item. For this reason, if you're moving around any of the equipment, you need to make sure that you have group select mode enabled. You can enable this by clicking the button on the left hand side or by using the C key to switch between group and object select mode. If you have group select mode enabled, when you select the equipment display, you'll move the entire item shop in one movement. And we can use this to group them together in a logical way. To build the shop, we're going to be using the community content of Core. We'll import anything that looks like it would make immersive sense in our game. To import a template from community content, find the template and press the import button. This will move you to core content where your item will appear in imported content as a package. Double click this to open it up as a template. As a template, this item can then be dragged into the scene to add the prop to your world. To change a template downloaded from community content, you need to de-instance that template. To do this, right click the template in the hierarchy and select de-instance this object to be able to change individual parts in it. Then you can select the parts that you want to delete and press the delete key. Now you can move your equipment into the area. When you're finished with your blacksmith scene, try a single player preview to make sure that all of the items are accessible and their labels legible. You may want to change the world text or make it appear at different times, depending on the way you have designed your scene. You can repeat this to make an immersive costume shop and add other buildings as part of your game. This is the final video of the core dungeon framework tutorial series. Thank you for watching and good luck in your adventures.